that's going to give you an idea of what the other teams that were invited into event look like. So you have MVP Phoenix, Fnatic, TNC Gaming, we got Taring, First Departure, and Mineski. Other Mineski. If all TBD is their name or players. Anyway, that's what the the actual Southeast Asia qualifier looks like. Dire team pick. So, from Silence from how I understand it, both of these teams are Radiant into the event pick. and they don't care what their seating is at Radiant all. Team pick. Because you just. You just go into an eight-team bracket anyway with an upper bracket and a lower bracket. It really doesn't matter where you Dyer are. Dire team pick. So they're just going to go through this draft and not really care. They're just going to do a quick draft and one of them's going to tape GG and that's going to be it. Radiant team back. I should probably try to cast this, right? Dyer so we uh, have a silencer and a troll. Oh, this is a fast draft. They're going really quick with this one. They really know what they're doing. We have like a, a three carry lineup for Rave and Dyer team ban. lots of big team fight for Wuji. They also have their Slark, their signature Slark. I like how they ban out the lion. Um, definitely Tied a good hero. Okay, big enigma tie here for Wuji. Really pulling out all the stops for this one. And wow, I really have no idea how Team Rave are gonna are gonna lane this. We've got Ninja Boogie on the Shadow Fiend. It's really interesting. Oh, Enigma is going to be played by Ajie. So uh, it's really, really cool there. Um, we usually see him on a carry. So it looks like it's going to be a carry Enigma. And then we've got a J.O. Silencer. Really, really interesting stuff right there. So we're going to get ready to go into our match. It'll be interesting to see how this clearly a pushing lineup from Team Rave. They've got a bunch of carries and they're all very good at hitting towers. How they do. So we're going to get into our match here. And um, yeah, we may as well just check him out real quick. Only mid. All right. Prepare for battle. Uh, they're, they're going for a Roche. All right, so let's 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 look at this. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> this is actually going to be really interesting. <laughs> All right, so they they're going into the Roche pit. They are almost. They've got two melee and three range. Let's see how this goes. Oh wow. Okay, so metamorphosis first. And Broodmother goes for the incapacitating bite. Oh no, they're gonna have to someone else. They're killing Roche. They're all killing Roche. Oh no, they're actually killing the Invoker. Thirty seconds to battle. <laughs> this is a very interesting Roche attempt. Okay, so Aji once again takes the first blood onto the, the Shadow Fiend, but they're not going for Roche anymore. They're not killing Roche. Johnny. Oh wow, he's he used a fairy fire. He might get out, and the troll hitting him. He's not got vision. Oh, he's gonna go around the side. He's actually not gonna go. He's gonna get him eventually. And now Bre uh, Jo in trouble. And uh, well, they call GG already. That's it. After barely 10 seconds into the game, they're going to win. This is quite a victory here for Wuji. 10 second victory over Rave. What a finish. That was probably the best game. That was the best game I have ever seen in my entire life. This has been... An extremely awesome victory. Look at these builds. Just absolutely incredible from the players. Amazing. Look at that. 9.4 fantasy points on Doom. I have never before seen such prowess in Dota. Thanks for watching and as always, cheers. <laughs> so that was that.
<laughs> um, so the, the EU qualifier is going to start up in...